Making beats is like putting ingredients together and turning them into a meal. Drums, melodies, bass, and so on. One of these ingredients, the melodies, are most of the time the hardest part to master. But not anymore, because after watching this video, you'll understand how to make melodies without struggling ever again. First of all, movement. You want the ingredients to fit together, and that starts with the chords. This is a perfectly fine chord progression on itself, but we want the notes to flow into each other and connect. To do that, we're gonna invert the chords and that will bring them closer together. Find the notes that are sticking out most and move them one octave up or down. That way you still have the same chords, but the progression now sounds like one piece that belongs together. If you want, you can also copy the root notes and paste them one octave lower to blow more life into it. Next, to spice things up, we're gonna add a melody on top. Guys, try to use your voice and hum a melody. Then try to play your melody on a MIDI keyboard, and that way you can come up with stuff like this. Look, it's these little imperfections that I'm talking about. Now it's time to study the frequencies of the chords. Add an equalizer to the master and open it up. Then play the melody and what you see here is a frequency spectrum of your project. We want to use as much of the spectrum to enhance the melody's presence. As you can see, we're not really doing that right now. So to fix that, we're gonna copy our chord progression and paste it onto another instrument such as a soft pluck. Of course, we're not gonna leave the melody as it is. Sometimes it's necessary to remove some of the notes. If you don't, your mix can get muddy real quick. With this melody, I wanna add more high end for presence. To do that, simply add subtle notes in the top melody. That sounds amazing. Next, we're gonna turn the melody into a sample so we can manipulate it. To do that, head over to the playlist and right click the track with your melody on. Choose Consolidate and select from track start. Then in the export window, set it to cut remainder. We're gonna shop it up anyway. It's like you downloaded a loop, but instead you made it yourself. Congratulations. Open up the sampler by double clicking the sample. Here you can already do a lot to the melody. You can play with the panning, pitch and the shape of the sample. Now right click the sample and choose Fruity Slicer. With this you can of course slice up the melody. Click the shop button and from the menu choose beats. Now the melody will be chopped in exact beats. You can also select a chopped part and reverse it. I like to do this with the last chop and the middle one. Sounds pretty cool. Now with this slider, you can move the melody up or down in pitch. You might want to time stretch the melody as well when you do that. With the attack slider, you can choose how fast the melody starts playing at every shop. Sometimes when you have pops and clicks, you might want to play around with these sliders to get rid of them. Next, head over to the channel rack and here you will find the fruity slicer. Open up the piano roll and here you can see all the chops we just created. You can actually move them around to create a completely new combination. Nice, now did you know that you could actually add slides to the melody as well? Simply add a short note underneath another note. Double click it and enable the slider toggle. Now the longer this note is, the longer it will take the slide to finish. Just a nice little trick. Next we're gonna play with some effects. First add an EQ in the melody and cut away the lows and a little bit of the highs. Standard for trap melodies. Next, add a fruity reverb effect to the melody and turn down the dry slider. Then turn the wet slider all the way up. Now you can simply adjust the amount of reverb with the mix knob in the effects rack. Now next thing you really need to do is make your melody breathe. Breathe air! To do that, add a fruity love filter to the effects rack. Right click the cutoff knob and choose create automation clip. Now head over to the playlist and here you can see that automation clip. Double click it, this will allow you to create more advanced and detailed automations. By enabling the LFO, you already create an amazing effect. You can actually see the cutoff knob move between the automation clip. To adjust the clip, use the knobs at the bottom. Okay, the next trick will change your beats forever. Soundscapes. These can come from plugins, but don't be afraid to record some ambience as well. Simply record it with your phone and add it to your sound library. This works really well for trap beats. Next, we're gonna start mixing the melody. And first, we're gonna level everything. And that is where a lot of you guys go wrong. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here, because uh, that's where you will learn everything about mixing your melodies and beats. So is that.